What's up, Reader Brigade? How's it going? Welcome to another Battlefield again. We have an awesome one. I'm going to start this one off because it is a very long one. There are worse places for battle than defending these walls. Let our foes wear themselves out coming to us. Let them dash themselves to pieces. Then they will die at our hands. Prepare then, soldiers. Indeed. I did not want to interrupt him, so I, uh, I let him talk. So we have a 3v3 here on Babylon. What a beautiful city. A very nice city. Um, it has cool little forts all over the place. Like this one's kind of here. Little, kind of a little fort here. But then it goes even further over here. It reminds me of, uh, I can't remember the other settlement. It looks just like another settlement. But it's just even bigger, basically. So, like, normally the other settlement I'm thinking of just goes to, like, here. And it doesn't have this little section of wall right here. Then it stops here. But then it, this, this settlement has even further out here. So this is a really cool settlement. I like it a lot. Um, I've never used it, but I think I might have to use it from now on. I might have to use it. But uh, anyway, enough about the city. Uh, but, yes, so we have first... For the defenders, we have Pergamon, who is going to be led by um, Iglesias. Very nice. And then we're going to have Bowie, who is going to be led by N7, Commander Shepard. No, it's just N7. <laughs> um, and then we're going to have Macedon, who is led by the Dodgy Gob, who is my friend. Um, thank you so much for sending this in to me. Um, if you guys have not um, checked out the Dodgy Gobs channel, please do so. It will be down in the description. Um, I am partnered with this guy. He, like, he's been doing. We've been doing tons of awesome videos, tons of content together, um, and I, I just want to do more content with him. And so, you know what? He's he's gonna be around for a while, guys. Just le just to let you know. So uh, just check out his channel for sure, please. It would be it would be pretty awesome if you guys did that. Um, and then for the attackers, we're going to have Seleucid, who is led by Makoluk. Um, Makoluk. Sure. That's a cool name. And then we're going to have Egypt, who's led by Easy with a Z. Cool. And then we're going to have Rome, led by Shifty. Very nice. They're all coming onto the attack from this one wall here just a uh, all just one kind of unit so they can back each other up very nice nothing wrong with that we will see how they do oh it looks like we have a little bit of sneaky sneaks over here maybe some companion in a payas calf a payas companion calf and then just regular regular companion calf it looks like i just saw that Right when they're starting to come out. Very cool. The Dodgy Gob is very smart when it comes to uh, playing this game. Like he's he's a very smart player. Loves to do a little bit of little bit of sally outs, keep his uh, attackers at bay. Looks like they have some uh Ptolemaic cab over here by itself could be quite an issue if these guys catch him because these companion calf could do some nasty work to these guys very nasty um, looks like they are dropping the siege equipment smart play because he did see the sally out and he's bringing over a bunch of royal peltas. And it looks like Rome is bringing over their cab as well. The Saki Equites. Not Saki Equites Extraordinary, but still a very good cab. Getting kind of hung up on these royal peltas here. Rome is going in, and so is Seleucid. Already going in. Getting some... I don't know what happened there. 
maybe some of these. Oh, a game of spears probably. A game of spears are like seriously becoming like my favorite unit. Um, I did a in the game of spears spam. Um, I don't know when this video will drop or when I will post it, but I sent the video into Joe on it, and he says he's going to be uh, working on it this week at some point, hopefully. And it's the 15th today, or 16th now, but. Or no, it is the 15th still. Still, still the 15th. Huh? It's, it's, yeah. I'm tired, guys. But uh, but yeah. Hopefully he uh, posts that video. I won't, I won't do commentary on it as well. I'll just let him do it. But go ch if you guys want to see that battle, go check it out. It was pretty, pretty awesome battle. It was with actually with Dodgy Gob as well. It was the other day. Lots of oh my gosh. Let's see, like just the Gima Spears are just insane. And they're pretty good in melee too. Like they, I've gotten them like over 200 kills, almost 300 kills in a melee fight against very good units. Uh, but these silver shield swordsmen will probably do uh, do better than them. <laughs> oh my goodness! These guys are becoming porcupines. And there's some spears flying. Flighting in the air. Oh my god. That is insane. I just love a game of spears. I can't even I can't even tell you enough. It is insane the amount of fire coming out of these guys right now. Oh, here comes another. Another volley. That's oh wow, that's crazy. Oh, there's archers here as well. Nice. Noise. <clears throat> like I can't even I can't even tell you enough how much I love a game of spears. I'm gonna probably say it like five more times in this video. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm probably gonna say it five more times. I love a game of spears, okay? So, a very smart play by the dodgy gob bringing his cavalry back inside. Another very smart play because he kind of saw what was happening. They reformed lots of uh lots of pokey pokies and, you know, um javelins that could be thrown at him. Not not really what you want to be using your cav very very good cav against you know getting killed by just javelins you know you don't want that to happen so very smart play use them later or use them in a better way very smart ooh nice more javelins there's gonna be lots of javelins in this fight you guys we got Rome Seleucid and Egypt like and Bowie I like Pergamon for sure like there's lots of javelin units in this one like there's just tons of javelins it's one thing you can get with when you play uh, Rome 2 is just a really crap ton of javelins. <clears throat> I do hope everyone's doing good and having a good time during these holidays. Um, if you guys... I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, I hope you guys are having <laughs> a good time in these holidays. Uh, just staying safe. Um, I know COVID's going on still. Um, I don't know if you heard of it, but yeah, it's a pretty big deal. Um, it's pretty pretty insane. You know, I've lost friends to COVID, so like, I it's it's no joke. Like, so just please be safe during the holidays. Don't want to lose any more people that we care about and love. But yeah. But on that note. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Um, if you guys are, make sure to hit that like button. I am trying to get five likes on this video. Um, if you guys could help me out and just give me those likes, I'd really appreciate it. Um, it does really go a long way. You guys just liking the video it just gives it um, the algorithm. YouTube just shows it to more people. Um, so just if you guys could please like the video. Um, if you guys are enjoying it, even just a slight, a slight amount. You know, enjoying it just a little bit, even a little bit. Just like the video. It just it helps it helps so much, you guys. Um I can't even tell you enough. It helps so much. And uh if you guys have not yet subscribed to the uh channel, um Bearded Warman, um 
please subscribe to the channel as well and make sure you hit that bell notification um you know we're almost to 100 i'm hoping to get to 100 before the end of the year if not sooner that'd be great but if not i mean you know it is what it is any growth is is good um uh, so but yeah personal goal just trying to get to 100 before the end of the year if you guys can help me do that as well and get get me to that 100 i'd appreciate it as well and i'm going to be having some new videos coming out of some i don't have them made yet i haven't even started them yet but i'm going to be making some new videos and a, and a new let's play for a different game i'm not going to say yet what it is i don't want to spoil it for all my subscribers yet but um it's going to be pretty sweet it's going to be awesome i'm just waiting for some other stuff to end first um so that i can free up some time to to work on that and i think it's going to be pretty awesome so if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys subscribe and uh, go yeah, so you guys can check it out. So more Game of Spears. I just love me some Game of Spears, you guys. I'm just saying. All right? I'm just saying. I love me a Game of Spears. Levy Freeman are also really good when you use them right. Going against some heavy Romans. Eh, probably not the best. Oh, some, maybe some flanks happening here? Maybe? Ooh, more javelins. Okay. Oh my, what the hell was that? Oh, it's my buddies. Game of Spears. Let's go. Oh my god, the amount of fire and just crap flying through the air right now is just, is nuts. Oh, okay. Okay. Companion Cav and some Thorax swords coming through. The wall. Oh, no. Just kidding. Just kidding. They're coming back. Move out. They're coming back. Just cav. Just cavalry. And it just it just makes the defenders have to think about something that they don't normally want to think about. They want to think about just breaking through the walls and getting through and going in and attacking and killing everybody. But, you know, when you have some dudes outside, really has you really have to think about other things and so you have to re shift stuff over deal with them so these guys were the ones that were way over here that we're gonna attack over here and now then they're over here and it's like they're all over the place and it's like and the attackers are only attacking one little section right now because they tried over here and failed so they're just trying to go through one hole or these two holes and try to break through here which I mean I don't recommend that because then the defenders can focus everything that they have against two holes so it looks like they are going to try to break some more holes over here try to think that they're going to break this corner down make a bigger wall section that breaks hopefully it breaks but there's defenders already there oh sworn very very solid unit going to be going against some thorax swordsmen you know initially and they might move over some more stuff but yeah they definitely need to make some more avenues uh, that is what they are doing Maybe some, no? Oh, I thought I saw some guys climbing on these siege towers. But I was wrong. So, three of spears here. Making sure that there's no more cab coming through. You know, they're taking their time, which is totally fine. Nothing wrong with taking your time. Nothing wrong with taking your time. Oh, so the cab is moving over here. Let's see what's going to happen. Ooh, sake equites. Heavy melee cav. These guys are very good cav. Can definitely take these guys out. No, no issues whatsoever. You know, they are shot cav, but they still have very good melee attack. Ooh. In the backs of the lines, may causing some issues for these guys. So they do have Indian armored elephants that I did not notice before. But I mean, it's still lucid. You have to bring some elephants. Rome can even bring elephants. Because Rome's not strong enough already. Um, okay, so does this Cav maybe going for this general over here? The Dodgy Gob loves to just cause havoc. Loves it. Sorry about that weird cut, guys. So we just have these uh, cavalry out here roaming around. Uh, forming up some cool formations here. Some pokey pokies. Over here. It's kind of a cool shot. Kind of all the cool stuff in the background there. Very cool. 
you know, pikes and all their stupidity that they have, they do look pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, tall mate calf coming over. Ooh, trying to catch these guys off guard. He's a pace calf. Ooh, getting shot up by this uh, Thurio spear here. Only losing. F okay, now they're starting to lose more. Oh, oh, companion calf gonna come in and hit these guys. Another Thurio spear here, though. Gonna maybe get some nice javelin throws on them. Ooh, nice. Nice charge. Base companion cav. Very, very heavy melee cav. Ay, ay, ay. These stereo spears, you guys, are so good. I always want to bring some stereo spears when you're, uh, Seleucid. Or, or any of the success successor kingdoms trying to get him out of there causing some issues for these attackers um so they did break down this wall oh Nice. Oath Sworn coming out, not letting them breathe for a second. Defenders already coming over. Already coming over. Because they only have a few sections that they have to really worry about. Because the defend or the attackers are really just focusing on these few points. And it's gonna be a tough one for these guys. Um it looks like we have another tortoise moving up here. Gonna have to be careful because this Osworn is done with this one. Could, oh, look, yep. Okay, so they did drop it. It's pretty smart. But, I mean, you guys, attackers. Just, just, um, I don't know how this fight goes. I don't know how the battle goes. I have not seen this battle. And I'm also not trying to be rude when I'm telling you this. I'm just trying to give advice. Don't do this. Just don't. I've done this, I've done this a few times. And I've learned my lesson, and so I'm trying to share my knowledge with you. That's the only thing. Don't do this. Don't don't attack just a couple spots like this. It's not a good idea. You have more tortoises here. Okay. They're they're okay. I don't know why these tortoises are even here. There's slums here. Might have been an accident. Didn't really notice the slums before. But you have so perfectly good siege towers here. You have. A shit ton of infantry still over here you don't have to just on these guys over here use these siege towers again there's no attack there's no defenders hardly over here you don't know that but recommit the attack over here like you shouldn't have given up that easily like just don't do this don't attack just a few spots like this whoa rally going yeah raise banners okay like, you don't want to do this, because then you're going to give the attackers more options to do things that they probably could not have, like, done if you attacked more areas. Because it spreads out the defense and doesn't let them focus on just this area. Because they can hold this area all day long. They could hold it here the whole entire battle. Because you're going to be stuck here. But you only have 60 minutes to fight this battle. So just choose more more sections. That's the only thing I only thing so far, you know, that I I want to share is just more more areas. And you're bringing in elephants right now when they have a million archers. I hope you don't I hope you're not doing that. I don't know what's happening. There's just blobs everywhere right now. There's just so many units just in this small area. Anyway, moving on. I'm over that. I'm just a little irritated, but I'm good. We're good. So we have a little bit of a sally out by Pergamon, who is led by Iglesias. Very nice. I love to see it. Late, late, or not late, but mid, mid, mid game sally out. I mean, there's been sally outs the whole entire battle. So, I mean, you know, you gotta be careful. You know, there, you, there's a whole, like, half of an army. I mean, not even half, like, 
I mean, maybe half. I mean, that's a good a chunk. That's a good chunk of dudes right there. They're moving up to those Agima Spears. Um, I don't know how much ammo they have left, but I mean, I doubt these guys have very much ammo. But you know, you got Galatian Swords as well. We got Pikemen here. Pick Peltis, another Galatian Sword coming. Like this is a, a, bit, a little bit of a pain in the neck. Like this is this is big. Excuse me, sorry about that. Got there, guys. You know, this is a pretty big sally out, you know, so you guys really got to, you're going to have to reform some lines here. You can't even see these guys yet. Oh, I just, I didn't even realize that. You guys can't even see these guys. More Pergamon coming through over here. Macedon and, and Bowie, I can handle this. They don't have to worry about nothing. Ooh. Archer fire coming in right now. Nice. Okay. Love to see that. These guys haven't really done much in this battle at all yet. So, you love to see that. I love all the th sayings that these guys say. Oh, wow. Lots of fire coming in right now. Nice. <clears throat> more just... More... Reserves coming in over here. Okay, this is a bit of a mess right here. Look at this mess. Holy crap. Elephants over here. Yep. They send them in, guys. They send in those elephants. Don't know why, but they sent them in. So, another thing. Another piece of advice. Don't send, don't send them in. Don't send them in. Wait till late game. Wait till they use up all their ammo and all their and all their uh, projectiles, and then bring in your elephants. Because these elephants can do a lot of damage when the enemies don't have any ammo left. I've done it many a times. I have a video out. If you watch this video and are curious about how much damage an elephant can do, I have a video where I got a thousand kills, over a thousand kills, with the dodgy gob. One of our first battles together. Um, actually was just going through and killing a bunch of his units. Right towards the end of the battle. Go check it out if you want to see an elephant unit get over a thousand kills. Um, it was towards the middle of, or the late game. And, you know, the enemies were running low on ammo. So, I mean, they didn't even notice what was going on. And that's how I got them. But when you run them in like this, when they have so many archers... You're going to get them killed, and that's what happened. You lost three-fourths of your of your unit. Their units are just right here, and you got how many kills out of it? How many kills? 64 kills. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. Now you got three elephants left, and now you have a sally out coming, and you're going to... I don't know what you're doing. Don't charge them. Yeah. Okay. So, they see this sally out now, and uh, they're probably freaking out right now. The balance of power is definitely in favor. I mean, I mean, not really. I mean, I mean, not definitely in favor, but slightly. I mean, maybe slightly, slightly in favor of the defenders, maybe, but like pretty dead even. But, but st I still think that it's a little bit, a little bit more in favor of the defenders at this point because this is this is pretty, pretty intense going on. Again, like I've, like I said, I've not seen this battle yet, so I don't know. I don't know who wins at all, but this is a pretty intense fight, and I hope you guys are enjoying it because I'm enjoying it so far. <clears throat> Looks like a crazy just fight going on over here. Lots of blobs. Another so another tip, another tip. Don't send in all your troops like this. Let them rest. I know you're trying to break through right here. I totally get it. I, I get it, man. Uh, or woman. I don't know who... I don't know. But I, I, I get it. You're trying to break through. But you're attacking with the amount of troops right here. Probably that it would take for maybe two, maybe two or three units. But you have like five. Like five units here. Let those other two rest while these other three are fighting. 
And then once those other, you know, ones are fighting, cycle them in back in and let those other guys go back and rest. Because you're just going to exhaust everybody. To see, look, all these guys are exhausted. I mean, this guy's fresh. But they're exhausted because they've been fighting this whole time. But not really getting that many kills. And they're exhausted now, so they're not going to get as many kills as you would want them to. <clears throat> so we have some Magima Spears over here. 147 kills. 60 men left. That's crazy. So this Sally out over here. How's it going? Magima Spears in the front. Line over here. Archers getting decent kills. Like This is a nice little Sally out we got going over here. Ooh, shooting these Indian armored elephants with fire arrows. Oh, killed one. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Why are they in the front line? Why? Salukud, please, please tell me. Why? What happened here? What was your thoughts? Because now that unit's gone. Ah, yeah, yeah. You hate to see that. No. They should not be over there. I don't understand. Why did you do that? Oh boy. Like I'm not like I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Like I just that's un really unfortunate, honestly. Like I don't know if you I mean I understand like I guess I guess I get it. You know, you're you're trying to attack and there's this massive amount of men coming out at you right now. You're trying to micromanage. But I mean you still I just ugh you hate to see that. Like I just I'm curious what happened. I don't know what happened. Um, archers going in to the fight. Hopefully they're out of ammo. The works pikemen um, on the front line with 33 men left. Uh, okay. Pergamon very smartly running those guys back. Ooh, running in some Glacian swords, getting some nice kills on those guys. Oh no. Praetorian guards coming in, and all these archers. Hopefully they're out of ammo. I don't think they are. They are. Jokes. Are they running back? They got really good kills on these archers, honestly. That's really good. 202, that's really good. <laughs> okay, running back now. Still slight, I mean, it's pretty dead even, but it's maybe slightly in favor of the uh, defenders still. Ooh. Some Celtic bowmen on top of the walls here with also some Macedonian archers. Nice. Love to see that. And those crenellations will protect those archers a little bit from these um, these mercenary Cretan archers who are freaking nasty units. Start shooting those guys. Yep. There you go. Awesome. Sorry about that weird cut, guys. So it looks like Pergamon smartly running back inside. Did a nice sally out, causing lots of issues for these guys, you know, and, you know, they're running back. They don't need to stay out there. I mean, I don't know what these guys are doing. Okay, they're running back now. <laughs> that might have been a little bit of a misclick there. No big deal. Celtic Bowman still, I think there might be full ammo. Whoa, did I hear artillery? Did I hear artillery? Is that this artillery? No. I thought I heard artillery. I heard something smash. Like it sounded like artillery. I don't know. Uh, why is this siege tower here not being used? I used that siege tower. You could use that siege tower and run over a unit. Oh no, just kidding. You can only go down that one spot. Okay, do you guys hear that smashing noise? Okay. I just saw something f coming in. Okay, I just saw a fireball coming in. Where was that from? Oh, come on. Now that's where it's from. Okay, this. Okay. Rome. Shifty. That's that's not cool, dude. 
That's not cool at all. One thing I hate is when people do that. You see this artillery. So he's moving all the way into the front line and just straight shooting them. Oh, that's so cheesy, dude. I understand you're having a hard time breaking through, but it is also your fault because you're not you're, <laughs> you're not attacking the whole entire settlement. You're attacking this tiny tiny corner. That's just not cool at all. Roman Ballista moving up through the lines and shooting your shooting them like that. That's that just that just really irritates me. When people cheat like that, like it just really it's cheating. When people do that kind of crap, like it's stupid. Like I understand, yeah, you can move them into the settlement. I am all down for moving your artillery into the settlement, and you know moving them through the whole, the broken walls and stuff, and then you know using them like that. You know some people don't like that even still. But I, it makes sense, you know. They did that in real life, and moving artillery into the, into the settlements. But moving them point blank range like that, just and doing that kind of stuff, just really irritates me when people do that crap. Just, just don't do that. Nobody likes it when people do that. It's stupid. Anyway, moving on. So they are falling back. Um, to the final area. Um, this is the victory point right here. I don't know if I told that in the beginning or said that in the beginning. This is the victory point right here. God, this, I can't get over how beautiful this settlement is. It just is so pretty. But anyway, yeah, they are falling back. Um, leaving some Macedonian soldiers to hold the line. Um, depleted units. Mostly depleted units. Still getting decent kills though, honestly. Slowing them down, allowing the defenders, or the attackers, excuse me, to move into the settlement. They did that once that he started doing the point blank range fire, which mm, still irks me. I really hate it when people do that crap. So once that started happening, they just decided to fall back. To the final area. So, yep. Okay. So, these guys are going to start breaking through. I'm going to start fast forwarding it a little bit. To allow these guys to get through. And to move into the final area. <clears throat> um, but yeah, just please feel free to uh, leave a comment down below just how you guys are liking the video so far um, and how you guys are like, if you guys like all those sally outs that have been happening in this battle, please let me know in a comment and, you know, like, make sure you like the video and just leave a comment down below. I always reply to my comments um, that I get, like I'm always interacting with everybody. Um, I, I love to interact, you know, we're trying to build a community and, you know, I feel like talking to people is that's how you do that. And, uh, you know, I always try to interact with you guys. Uh, so please leave a comment and I'll, and I'll let you know, you know, how, what, I, my, what my thoughts are on everything. Because, um, like, the sally outs in this one have been pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. So we're just still moving over some units. It looks like trying to get to the final area. It's kind of slow down just a little bit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! That was insane. Be fast. That was insanely fast. A little bit of a burned down village little area here. Suburb, I guess you could say. Yeah. A bunch of archers moving up by themselves. If only there was some cavalry left over, like some noble horse to go take that out. That would be pretty awesome. Just saying. If you know what I mean. I'm just kidding. I'm just messing around. I don't know. I haven't seen this one. Okay, so we do have some fireballs of justice here. Next to these really cool looking 
pillars with the, uh, I don't know what the hell those are. Little, little horsies. Bulls? Maybe they're little bulls. Oh yeah, they're, they're bulls. Okay, so we have some, uh, Agima Spears. I mean, I just love Agima Spears, you guys. I can't even, can't even tell you enough how much I love Agima Spears. I just love them. They're so good. Okay. Light those fireballs. Light them up. Oh, man. Please. Bummer deal. Hopefully they can get to him in time. Are all these Cretan archers out of ammo? There's no way. There's no way these Cretan archers have at this low of kills. They're not out of ammo. There's no way. Okay, maybe they're out of ammo. No. Oh no. They're not going to be able to light the balls on fire, guys. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, Pike's coming in. Okay. Awesome. Okay, is this ballista gone? No. They're moving the ballista still. Where's the ballista? Where is it? It's right there. It still has ammo? Okay. If he does that shit again... I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I'm going to be pissed. I'd be pissed if I was these defenders. That's just cheating. Oh, no. Oh, the balls of justice going every which way. So, yeah, the balls should have been more, like, right here. Like, right there. So, it would have been more That's downhill. That sucks, though. Darn. That's unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Bummer deal. Okay, so Rome, moving over. Well, everybody's kind of moving over, but Seleucid is, is kind of the, the first ones here, so. Thorx Pikesman, moving up. Pretty intense battles going on right now, you guys. And they're out of elephants also, which would have been really good at this point. Just saying. Uh, I don't know how they're going to utilize this noble horse. I'm going to be kind of curious to see what happens. What happens in the battle. Ooh. So is this... So... Is this ballista? Like, did they forget to use it? I hope they use this ballista because... I think it's full of ammo. I'm pretty sure it has full ammo. So I hope they I hope they use it. I hope. The hell is that guy doing? Okay, that was weird. Okay. Some stuff here. So, again, you're blobbing up all your troops. You know, you see how these guys are not. I mean, they're they're moving up troops, but they're still allowing their troops to rest. You don't want to. You don't want to do this. You don't want to blob up. It's never good. Don't blob. So we have Rome still moving up, moving up their ballista and their uh, whole army very slowly. And it looks like Bowie I is going to be one of the main ones defending over here. These guys see that the that guy still has his ballista, so they're kind of moving over some guys to hide, or moving 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 the men to hide a little bit. So it's not in direct line.
Looks like Salukid is starting to break a little bit over here. Balance of power definitely in favor of the defenders in this one right now. Definitely. Definitely in favor of them. Pikeman going in right now. Pergamon's Pikes. Pergamon Pikes. <laughs> Pergamon Pikes. Say that three times fast. Let me know how it goes. And more ma- Huh. <sighs> 530 kills. That is insane. Dude. Dodgy Gob going crazy with these pikes right here. Nice. Heavy horse over here. That's insane kills on those pikes. That's awesome. Let's see if this arty is getting more kills. No, it still has 129. Where it's been at for a little bit. Once it started doing those point blank shots. So just kind of focusing on Saluka right now. Rome's still not in the fight over here. Um, they better start helping out their ally though. Because they're, you know, their allies, I should say. Because Saluka and Egypt are both still in this. But, you know, these pikes are just going to work right now on these on their pikes and their units. Like, there's nothing they can do. Just... Dude, the Dodger Gob is getting so many kills with his pikes right now. Like, he's... That's got to be awesome. An awesome feeling to get that much kills with your pikes. 500 and then now almost 300 with this with these pikes. That's, that's pretty sweet. You love to see it. Good stuff, man. Great stuff. So very smart. Also, like I said, you know, hiding from this artillery fire that has, or artillery still has not shot yet. Still just kind of hanging out. I don't know what happened. I don't know why Rome's not moving. Um, maybe he had to go to the bathroom or something real quick, or I don't know. But he's not moving. Oh, we do have some movement finally. Jokes. Hold the hold the phone. We do have a little bit of movement, and the artillery is kind of doing their thing, so he must have... Yep, they're reloading right now. They are loading. Getting ready to fire at something. Why are they shooting... Why are they pointing this way? What is going on? What are they firing at? What's over there? Are you shooting at the obelisk? Okay, Egypt moving over some royal peltis on this side. 251 kills with those guys. Wow. Okay, so they did break these guys on this side. Lots of red fire balls all over the place. These guys are getting shot so hard with these these uh, arrow towers. Ooh, Galatian swords. Okay, these guys are dead. You don't need to keep shooting them with your stuff. Okay, move, move, move. Yep, pikemen. 287 kills. I mean, if Rome's going to just chill there. Let's go get him. Go get him, boys. Why not sally out inside your own settlement? You know what I'm saying? Because this is like now the new city walls. You know, because they already controlled over here. But now they only have this little area. So now why not sally back out of this new little fort area and go over into the city again. And surround Rome. Surround them. Completely. And take them the heck out. This ballista, I'm not really quite sure what the heck they're doing. It's like a weird formation that I, that they got going on. For sure. Okay, moving up the infantry in Testudo formation. Moving them up because of this arrow tower here. They're going to start getting shot at any second now. Yep, there it goes. Moving over the Royal Peltis General. Moving through that little area there. They need to recapture this uh, arrow tower. So, no. Yeah, those Romans are too close. Praetorian Guards, no doubt. I don't blame them. Praetorian Guards are scary. Their melee is very, very good. These Royal Peltis, I mean, could probably, you know, do some damage to them for sure, but... Yeah, these just between guards are no joke. Pikeman could take him for sure. 
These, yep, these guys are definitely going to surround them. Um, ooh, nice play here. Syrian archers going up onto the walls. Very smart play. Not that I'm rooting for you or anything, because you know you were doing that douchey move of the point blank range fire there. Sorry about that cut there, guys. Dima Spear is getting shot up by this arrow tower. Arrow tower is going crazy f all over the place right now. Six minutes left in the battle, you guys. I do hope you guys are enjoying this one. This one's been a pretty intense fight, like, throughout the whole thing. Um, it's been it's been pretty epic, I'm not going to lie. If you guys do enjoy it, or have enjoyed it, even just slightly, a little bit, even just a little bit, please hit that like button. It is very much appreciated, you guys. Like, I can't even tell you enough, like, how much I just appreciate the like and the support. And if you could subscribe to the channel, if you have not yet subscribed, that's even better. I appreciate that as well. Like, it is very much appreciated. <clears throat> you know, I, do, I put a lot of hard work into these videos. You know, I, I would like to think I put a lot of hard work into these videos. And I'm spending a lot of time on them. I hope it's good time spent. You know, and just a like just, just shows that you, you know, understand and respect and appreciate that I'm working hard on them and it really goes a long way for me like it just gives me that reassurance so I do appreciate it if you guys it, I would appreciate it if you did and also again Macedon is led by Dodgy Gob my friend the Dodgy Gob his uh, channel will be down in this in the description uh, please send him a subscribe as well check out his videos he has really good content um, he's been working hard and uh, making really good videos. <clears throat> we also are doing a head-to-head -head campaign, and it's been getting spicy. We just recorded a bunch of uh, episodes tonight that will be going out probably, I mean, I'll probably post a, at least maybe one or two before this video posts, but you should definitely check it out. It's getting insane, so definitely check it out. We do have some engagements happening here. We will get back into the fight. I will shut up and get into the fight. This is awesome. I love it. I love it. Agima is coming over. Ooh. Get that noble horse over here. Come on. Get that general over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get him over there. Come on. Get that general over here. And this ballista is not even being used. Oh, it's so unfortunate. Where is that ballista? Over here. Still. Okay. He's going to start doing point-blank ranges or fire again, it looks like, probably. I mean, it's not really point-blank, point-blank, but still, that's pretty close to point-blank. Um, okay. Not really sure what the hell is happening right now. Whoa. Oh, nice. Celtic Bowman coming from the side over here shooting these Praetorians who are going into Studo formation very smartly. Very, very smart. Shoot these stupid ballista, please. I just, I really freaking hate it when people do. I really, I really hate it. Oh, Pac-Man against Riarii. Mm, who's going to win? Who has the longer stick? Let's see. Um, Yeah, you have a baby stick. And you have a ginormous, ginormous stick. Mm, love it. Bigger stick wins. Let's go. Kill them. Kill them with fire. And long sticks. <laughs> okay. Uh, naked warriors running around with their naked... Whoa, where did they come from? Where did... Th oh. You sneaky, sneaky boy. Ran around. Over here. That's awesome. And is now hitting the rear of this. Hitting the general. Who is dead, probably. No? Still not... Oh, they are dead. They are now dead. Very nice. Naked warriors are very good. 
very good soldiers. And they're naked, which is even more fun. Who doesn't like being naked? Going in right now. Very nice. Is Macedon still in this fight? They are still in this fight. Thurio Spears, I think, is their last unit. Dodgy Gob just depleted his units. Fighting for his life against these Romans. Pergamon still over here. So why hasn't this general moved? Move this noble horse to kill these equites. Your general could take them out easily. And you could start assisting over here. Get those pikes over here. Move those pikes up. I know he's being really annoying with this. He had 129 kills before he moved them over here. I know he has 230 kills. <sighs> That's disgusting. And not in a good way. It's disgusting in a really annoying way. It just really, really irks me. Really irks me. Okay, Pikeman going in, 130 kills. Naked Warriors helping out, killing these Romans. Gima Spears going in. Let's get those stupid Ballista out of there. Get them out of there. Oh, sworn. Oh, my God. This is like the worst kind of player. I just. I just. Yeah, mm. I hate it. I hate it when people do that crap. I'm glad they lost, honestly. I really, I really just really hate when people do this stupid stuff like this. Like when they're, when they're losing and they do this crap, like. It's just. It's not. Like honorable like at all like we're i mean i know it's a game and you know you're playing and stuff it's just so stupid just don't do that the defenders won good because they deserved the win they played the right way and and got the victory they didn't have to cheat or nothing good it's good stuff shifty shame on you shame on you shame shame the dodgy gob Getting lots of very good kills here. This guy getting the most kills. Probably because of his stupid ballista though. Well, let's start off with the dodgy gob. Lots of royal peltas. Very nice kills here. Awesome kills. I mean decent kills with his archers. Um, those cav probably could have gotten more. But I mean they did their job. Like they were sallied out. And you know they were causing tons of chaos. And whatnot. So. I mean, you, they did their job, and they got kills out of it, too, so that's good. Pikeman, though. Holy crap. Lots of kills with his pikes. Very good kills with his other units as well. Very nice. Very nice. You love to, you love to see the kills. Awesome. 1,700 from N7. Um, 1,791, excuse me. Um, very nice kills all around. Uh, General didn't get any kills at the end there. Could have probably gone out and killed those uh, Saki, Saki Equites. Um, very easily and could have you know helped finish the battle even quicker uh levy freeman i mean not as many kills they don't really typically get very many kills um but they are a unit they do still get some kills and you know it's meat that they gotta cut through so slows them down naked warriors awesome kills there those guys came in clutch at the end there very nice plays with him um o sworn always get very nice kills and they they showed that they always they always get good kills, but yeah. Then dodgy gob. There we go. So then, uh, yeah. I don't know how you pronounce this. I'm very sorry, dude. Miko Miko Lock, um, Seleucid, 1,541 kills. Um, you know, just like I said, those things I pointed out. Um, your elephants don't bring them in so quickly. Don't attack one section of the wall. Like again, I'm not trying to be rude when I'm giving you guys these these pointers. So don't don't take them the wrong way just trying to help out so you can do better in the future don't bring them in don't attack just a small section and let your guys rest when you're attacking and also silver shield swordsman and royal peltis cost the same amount of money and royal peltis are way better in my opinion 
Bring more royal peltists. Don't bring silver shields. Don't bring silver shield swordsmen. They're not worth it to me. I don't. I don't think these guys are good. Royal peltists way better in my opinion. <clears throat> um. Yes, you did bring some royal peltists and pikemen. I mean, you got decent kills, but you could have done way better. Um, your archers got amazing kills. So, but yeah, you you could have done could have done more better. Um, especially with your elephants, those guys are such, such nasty units, in a, nasty units in a good way, they could have, I mean, easily gotten over a thousand kills, easily, or at least even 800 kills, would have gotten you, like, past 2,000, and could have really turned this fight around, and you guys could have probably won, you could have, if you used them at the right point, um, and then easy with a Z, decent kills, solid numbers here, honestly, all your guys getting very good kills, like, all around decent kills. I don't know what happened there. Don't know what happened there. But yeah, very good kills all around. And then Shifty. Um you got good kills, but still I don't agree with what you guys what you did with the ballista. Um I don't I don't know if you guys if you did any pull throughs or anything like that. I didn't see that. I was more focused on this Roman Ballista. That was just not okay, dude. Like just don't do it. Nobody likes to do it. Like, no one likes to deal with people like that. You know, you still lost the game, even though you did it. Like, just don't do it. It's it's stupid. Just don't do it. You got good kills, though. So, good good for you. You got good kills. But, but still, just don't do the Roman Ballista thing, dude. Just don't. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Um, I enjoyed it. It was very fun commentating it. Um, thank you again for the Dodgy Gob sending this in to me. Um, if you guys can, please send him a uh, subscribe and uh, check out his content. You know, he has really, really good stuff. Uh, yeah, um, just check him out. Um, uh, but also, yeah, but, you know, without further ado, um, I'm Beard Warman. Thank you guys, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.